for this week, you know we have a very fun DIY and this one is just for the dads. Andrew Donkin makes something really cool and it's something your little one will love. Right, I've got a great DIY with this dowel stick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a kid swing. Perfect way to get your bambino outside in the fresh air and uh, making use of a DIY made by yourselves. For this DIY, you'll need a Stanley knife, tape, electric drill, mitre box, four dial sticks, wood saw, colorful material, 100 grit sandpaper, rope, and a carabiner. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna measure out 325 millimeters on my dial stick, and I'm gonna cut four pieces. I've got my measurement, I'm gonna put this into my mitre box, and I'm gonna clamp it down, and we're gonna start cutting. Great, now we've got to sand down these edges and get rid of these sharp burrs. Now, quick tip with sandpaper. I've got this big roll. You don't need the whole lot. So what you want to do is cut a piece off. So a simple tip, put it on a sharp corner and we're just going to tear off the exact size piece that we need. As you're sanding that edge, especially on a round piece of dowel like this, make sure you twist it and it allows a nice even round finish on the edge there. Okay, so that's pretty much done. I'm gonna make use of this clamp just to hold it tight. It's very difficult with a round piece. We're gonna mark out 12 millimeters. And then we're gonna start off with our wood drill bit. Now you'll see these bits are slightly different. You'll see it's got a little spike in the center. And basically what that does, is it allows it to stay central and stops it from wandering all over the place. When you are gonna be using uh, drills, make use of a scrap piece of timber. It causes a lot less hassle than uh, drilling into your coffee table or kitchen table. So put that underneath, hold that firm. You're going to drill all the way down through the dowel into your old piece of timber and uh, make sure you get a nice clean cut as it comes out the bottom side. Remember to keep your drill vertical at all times. You don't want to be drilling in at an angle. Right, we finished that one. It looks pretty good. Um, what I've done is I've made three others beforehand. So now we've got four of these. Very straightforward, now we need to actually spread them out and then we're gonna make our basket. And uh, what I've used is I've actually just got some material and I've got my mother to do all the hard work and uh, sew this up for me, so I'm gonna put this out. Right, you'll see I've made an X pattern, basically one straight piece along the back. I've brought the edges over and I've allowed that to, it's gonna wrap around and create a loop for the rod to actually go through. Now you can see how it forms the basket. We're actually gonna use the rope to hold it all together. I'm using my sash cord. Now, a good little tip, you always have this when it comes with rope. It always starts fraying. So what you wanna do is work out what length you want. We're gonna wrap some masking tape around the middle and then we're actually gonna cut through the middle section. And then that way, once you've pulled it off, you've actually got a nice tightly wound piece of thread. So it's gonna make it much easier to thread through the poles. This other end, what we're gonna do is just make a knot and that's gonna act like a stopper to stop it from pulling through the bottom of the dowel. Now I'm gonna take the left side and the right side, just tie a quick little knot in there. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. We're gonna make use of these hooks. Perfect, we're gonna use that to hang it up. Let's take this outside and find a volunteer. Well, she's definitely enjoying herself. Remember, everything you need is available at your local builder's outlet.